Chris. And I'm Dan. And we're part of the Dive Bombers Car Club. And today at Dive Bombers Garage, we're going to be working on our fellow club member's car and get it ready for the Reading Cruise. Now the Reading Cruise is something we do every year. It's a 300 mile round trip that we drive our cars to. We do some racing down there, cruise around, and generally have a good time. It's a blast. Now our friend Charles has two things. Like most of the Dive Bombers Car Club, he has no money and no time. So the car club is going to come together. They're going to help Charles out and they're going to take an original 1947 Crosley truck. And we're going to get that truck, hopefully, good enough to make the truck down to Reading and back. Back is good. Yes. Wish us luck. That's kind of gay. Wish us luck. <laughs> In 1939, Powell Crosley, who at the time owned the Cincinnati Reds, was involved in manufacturing clocks and generators. He decided to create the vehicle for the people, the Crosley. This particular Crosley was then passed on from, as a family heirloom from father to son, which is exactly how Charles became the owner of this 47. So I'm Charles, I'm the proud owner of the 1947 Crosley pickup truck that after 10 hours worth of work, tune-up, oil change, flush and fuel system, we got it running great and ready for the road. And it did run great. Up until it didn't. Broke the crank sitting there idling. So, we're going to plan B. And plan B is what we want to do. Which is whatever we want. And that is, I want to do a gasser. Ode to the 60s. A gasser? What's a gasser, you might ask? A gasser is a type of hot rod originating on the drag strips across the U.S. in the late 50s and continued until the early 70s. Now, gassers are based on any production car from the 1930s to mid-60s, which have been stripped of their weight and jacked up using usually a truck beam axle to provide better weight distribution upon acceleration. Now, gassers are something we specialize in. We sell a gasser subframe and axle kit for a Tri-5 Chevy and more. We've made lots of these gassers. We've raced them as well as used them in our movie, American Throw Ride. And now, we're going to gasser our first Crosley. We can what? It's a freaking America. We can film in the, anywhere we want to. That's right. America. <laughs> we're Americans. We're we, don't, Americans. I, we don't got health care, we're Americans. Oh. So, Charles's Crosley is not exactly what we'd call a full-size car. So we had to do some things that were a little bit out of the norm. Normally we're doing things like 55 Chevys and coupes and things like that. So we had to take a, like a regular tube axle, narrow it down so it fits underneath a four foot wide car. We didn't want it too wide so it looks all goofy and everything. Everything has to be in proportion. Of course we have the standard disc brakes and all the amenities that our normal builds have, but the rear end is very narrow. There's some things that we did a little differently just to make the car all in proportion. Since this thing's a quarter the size of a normal pickup truck, we decided to go with a 1978 Toyota with a 20R motor. Man, this thing's going to rip! Watch the Nova. We're freaking Americans. It's un-American not to get this thing. <laughs> I know. You see, per the OSHA regulations, the gas tank is removed while the toilet is in use. It's this type of crossover technology that makes our team what it is today. That's <laughs> what I do. <laughs> you need to get the tire out. There's a bunch of fire extinguishers right out the corner of this. It's, we're right here. What do you think our chances are of getting this done, Dan? Um, in our lifetime, or? <laughs> well, medium. Medium. <laughs> Medium is a time frame here at Chris's Hot Rods. And now, some tech talk with Dan and Chris. Yeah. 
Where'd you get water? Water. Why can I open it? Opening is hard. Opening is hard. Good thing it's smart water. Why can you never remember to get your keys out of your pocket? So, you know Charles when he came by the shop today? Life's so hard. I was thinking about that, you know, and, and uh, he was talking about the Crosley and, you know, the power plant and all that stuff. And, you know, it's a 20R and everything, but, you know, he really, uh, he was really talking it up like that thing's going to be a giant contender, you know, like a nine second car. Is it a Prius? And he's talking about that, and I was thinking to myself, you know, the power to weight ratio is good and everything, but it's not really going to be that fast, is it? I mean, he's talking like the thing's going to do sevens or eights or, you know, crazy talk like that. So we did not get the Crosley done in time for the Reading Cruise, but that's okay. The entire trip was botched by a car wreck and bad weather. But we are going to press on and figure out what the next plan is on the Crosley. Being kind of an homage to 60s gassers or 70s street freaks, there's nothing that screams that era like metal, metal flake. flake. Despite the fact we were in the middle of August, we were going to have a break in the weather and had to hurry to get it sanded and in primer. If you hurry up and get that on there, we'll be able to wet sand it. You said we're wet sand shit. Huh? You said we're wet sand <laughs> It says the thunderstorms that are coming in. <laughs> so, we are building a paint booth because if you notice the clouds, it's probably going to rain. And we have to make sure our glitter <coughs> sticks. And it doesn't all, you know, wipe off. So here's our paint booth. Because this is... This is White City, dog. Oh, no, it ain't. This is the west side. Hold on. West side. It's hard to tell because our booth makes it look like White City. <laughs> Our first step is spraying the metal plate. Now we mix this with SG100, which is a clear base coat. Now, as retarded as it seems, we plan this paint job around the storm, specifically because we don't have a climate controlled booth, and with using vinyl tape to lay out the panels, in the heat, it tends to pull and not stick. What we did here was made some stencils for the scales and use round stickers for our bubbles. Then all we had to do was peel the tape, clean it, and put 17 coats of clear on. Here we are with the 1947 Crosley Gasser. And now what makes these street freaks is the glittery paint and the candy panels. And I'm sure glad these guys got me going with this green candy and the scale motif. I tell you what, this thing goes down the road so straight. It's got the 20R Toyota motor with the five-speed transmission, the Toyota uh, rear end. I tell you what, this thing commands so much attention. I can't go anywhere without somebody pulling me over and saying, hey, what is that thing? How do you think it turned out, Chris? You never killed a man. I didn't ask that question. It's a pretty important question. I'd ask that question if I were you. Yes, Chris. Once I put the finishing touches on this thing, it's going to blow the doors off your big block this and big block that. No street freak is complete without its name. Say something about the fact that you're we're wasting valuable shop time working on our own crap <laughs> at Goodlitz Garage. Keep going. Buckets. Okay, what RPM are we at? It's about 600. It'll probably come up a couple of hundred once you put them wires on that side. Oh. Why didn't you tell me that? 
You want me? You want to do it with it on or off? <laughs> Telephone. Can't you Who John busy? Who is it? Charles. Charles. Hello. Hey, what are you doing? Anything I want. Who'd, who'd you get to race us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and you idiot. We're racing. You, me, Coop. Let's go. You got a minute. Did you buy a new car? Right? What'd you get? What'd you, what'd you buy something? Yeah, uh, funny, funny. No, it's called Godzilla. And he's going to eat <laughs> you alive. <laughs> the, the little green car? Are you, Are you serious? on drugs, man? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not on drugs. Let's go. Why, why are you guys wasting time? I'm on my way. I'm in, I'm in Godzilla. I'll tell you right what. Now. Okay, well, we're working on a roadster. We just tuned it up. If you can beat the roadster, then you can step your way up to the coop. Yeah. But you know what? On the way over there, stop by and get me a burger. Oh, yeah, and hey. tacos. Oh, I want, I want a burger and a taco. Hey, 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 pay attention. Pay attention, ADD. Let's go. Ten minutes, Paradise Road. Bring, I don't care what you bring. Bring a ten speed for all I care. Because you're good. All the thing you're gonna see is the flame from Godzilla's mouth. You're gonna get eaten alive. Okay, we'll see you. Ten minutes. Actually, bring tacos? I don't know. Let's find out. Here it comes. It's high right on top! Uh, what is that? <laughs> is that an ICBM? ICBM? What? Just. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's go! Are you ready to lose? Lose! Lose! All you're gonna do is see the fire breathing from Godzilla's mouth! Hey, line it up, poop butt. I'll show you poop butt right now! What we're about to divulge is completely top secret. If you want to do a metal flake paint job, do it in your friend's shop. Correct. So what does that mean when the car goes down the road straight, but yet it's all wacky? You don't use your own paint booth. Never. It will get in every paint job from here to eternity that you do. From now on. It's stuff gets everywhere. Why? The car is tiny, you know? And so, you know, with that, there's a lot of don't know what my lines are and totally winging it. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff's like a plague. It's terrible. It's worse than Ebola. It is Ebola. I've never had Ebola, but I don't, I don't want it. Definitely fast car, yeah. Definitely, it's definitely like fast lightning, car. Lightning, lightning fast. Definitely, lightning. definitely got, got excellent, excellent fast car, yeah. It's going to go definitely, so fast. Definitely fast. You're going to think there's something radioactive in fast, the fast atmosphere. Fast parts Kmart, yeah. No, yeah. no homo. And it's an awkward situation with the old lady. <laughs>